How's it going, PGL fans? I'm Trexo, and I'm your coach, the Indianapolis Cold Balancer, here for week six of the PGL. Going up against that boy, Grizzlock, and his Boston Silk Scarfs, who are sitting at the top of the conference right now, or maybe our division. I don't know, it's either division or conference they're sitting at the top of. I know he's he's in a playoff spot above us, so we need to grab that from him with a W in today's um, match, or tomorrow's match, I mean. And honestly, his entire team is carried by two Mons. So if we can shut down those two Mons, we're going to be in a pretty good position. Those two Mons being Hippowdon and Dragonite. Now, Dragonite is like the MVP of the league so far. It's like destroying everything. And Hippowdon had like a 5-0, had like a 6-kill game, I think. That's why he has so many kills. But other than that, the most kills on his team, as you can see right here, he has two with Aegislash, two with Clefable, eight with Dragonite, two with Snorlax, five. See, like... There isn't a whole lot of kill um, distribution, so if we can shut down that Dragonite and make it make it a hard day for him, especially when I'm not even bringing um, a lot of the mods I would deal with that thing very well, actually, so that's probably not good for me, but I'm doing it anyway, because I feel like uh, he's not going to bring that uh, Dragonite because I have a Kieran Black and I have a Mammoth Swine, which both destroy Dragonite, obviously, and we also have a Mega Gardevoir. And with Thunder Wave as well. And we have a Mandibuzz. Uh, we have a Thunder Stand, which outspeeds. We can put him to sleep. We have we have heli options for a um Dragonite. So that being said, I don't think I'm not extremely concerned over it, but if he does want to bring it, we do have stealth rocks so we can get rid of that multi scale multi scale. Now to deal with that. Now that should solve our issues and again hit Paladon. Um, we have a Jellicent, we have a Breloom. So, not too worried about that thing. Now the rest of the team, that's where it gets kind of scary. He does have the Aegislash and Clefable, which can be a bit product problematic, especially for this team. Clefable especially. I'm going to have to get off some nice and clean Sludge Wave, uh, Choice Back Sludge Waves in order to take care of that thing. Kind of need a Haze Mom, I don't really have one. I guess I could have ran Haze on Anoki, but I decided against it. Um, the thing in the back that might have been a bit a good option, but I didn't do it and team's already gen So we're gonna rock out with this if we get beat by stall Clefable, we get beat by stall Clefable And we can just like try and timer stall and win that way. So I really don't want to have an hour-long battle if that happens, it happens um, I'm trying to think of any other things I can talk about on his team uh, Me and Shao is kind of scary. I'm a little bit worried about me and Shao, but again, we have our options. We have hell options for me and Shao um, Kaguya kind of laughs at it um, Snorlax is another issue. I literally only brought Itachi for the Snorlax. Because bulk up set beats the curse set. Especially the drain punch score. Put him to sleep, then you can't bulk up or you can't curse on us and we're good to go. The only technician bull seed or it's a it's a GG in the chat, boys. Um Tentacool might be a little bit um uh, no not really actually. Tentacool won't be that annoying. Um Pyroar could cause some issues for me. If Anoki goes down early, then Pyro could cost. But we also have um, Power Punch um, Meltank here to deal with that thing as well. So we have options. We have a lot of ways to deal with a lot of monsters on this team pretty effectively. I think that's going to lead us to a victory in today's or this week's uh, matchup. But anyways, go over what we're bringing today. Um, we have Kaguya the Gardevoir, Mega Gardevoir. Obviously, it's came every week. Pretty much the same set every week. It's just three attacks and another move. I don't know either Thunder Wave, Wish, or Calm Mind. We're running Thunder Wave this week for that Dragonite. So it can't set. If we can switch on the hours and click Thunder Wave, we are in a good position because I don't think he has a Luxor type on his team. Um, it, oh yeah, he's, he has Rotom Mo and Hippowdon. Those are the only two switches on us, and I don't think you're switching a, hip, a Hippo or a Rotom Mo on a Mega Gardevoir. So we are good to go in that regard. And honestly, we can just click Hyper Voice. If there's no Aggy Slash and there's no Pyro around, we just click Hyper Voice freely um, on his entire team. Then there's also Mandibuzz here, um, forgot to nickname it, unfortunately. I'm running max HP, max defense, this thing handles a D dancing Dragonite very, very well. Um, I'm pretty sure Foul Play KOs at plus one. If we, after Stealth Rocks, I'm pretty sure it KOs at plus one. Um, I probably check the calc, so, just to be sure. Also, I'm running off no sleep, so if my commentary seems a little bit off, I'm actually about to have the battle like right after this, so if my commentary seems a little bit off, um, that might be why. Mandibuzz, Marissa against a Dragonite. Oh, you want to see? Level 50. Level 50. I was definitely incorrect. Wow. Alright. 
If you get to plus two, um, if, actually, I'm, I'm gonna check plus one. So you're not multi scale. It does kill plus one. It does kill plus one. Um, and then he can't kill me in return at plus one, at plus two. Still no cigar. I mean, with ice punch, he might be able to. You see here. He has the ice punch. That does not kill either. So yeah, foul play just does the thing we needed to do. At the end of the day, um, moving on. We kind of spoke on th um, thunders already, um, but basically sludge wave is here for the Clefable. We have Vol switch, so we can get off a nice spec switch if we need it. Thunderbolt as well with Dark Pulse for coverage for that Aegis Slash. And that's really it. Kind of generic. I'm pretty sure it's the exact same says last week, just with different HP and speed EVs. Mm. Moving on. We have Itachi the Brayden with a bulk up. This is like I've already talked about this. It's already it's just literally here for the Snorlax. Can also maybe put in work against the Mian Chao and hit Paladon and a Greninja, but other than that, no, not really. We are kind of scared of a Greninja because the Scarf Greninja can destroy me with an Ice Beam. So I have to watch out for that. That makes me kind of want to run the Mach Punch, but I'm still late now. Uh, we also have Chocho here, the Mill Tank with Stealth Rock, uh, Power Punch by Sun. Milk Tank is going to set up with some Power Punches on the Snorlax, Pyroar, um, Greninja. I think that's it. We can also buy some to get some nice and cheeky par paralysis as well. We also have Milk Drink, so we can get that reliable recovery plus lefties. That's very, very nice. And we're. Um, especially defensive with a little bit of physical bulk as well with max HP. Adamant nature, I believe. No, it's an impish nature. And then we have power punch to boost that attack stat up a little bit because we are just sitting at a measly, measly at level 50. We are sitting at, let me see here. Level 50, we are sitting at just 100. So yeah, that's not very good. So we'll need some power punch before we can do some actual damage. We also have Anoki here, our AV Jellicent. Um, we're running Jellicent again with the AV. We're trying to we're kind of work last week. We did get a kill on that. No, that was two weeks ago against Poise. We got the kill on the Native Queen, I think. I'm not 100 sure. I'm kind of tired, if you can't tell. But we are running a really fat um, Jellicent again this week with the AV. Max defense so defense is pretty good in my opinion. Um, that's where it goes. But anyways, guys, that is the team. Anyways, guys, we guys seem to battle. Oh, yeah.